Welcome back to another Let's Read session with Ms. Ruchi Shravastava. Hi friends, today we are going to be reading a story called Missing Math, a number mystery written by Laureen Leedy. Last Monday was an average day. It wasn't odd or weird till numbers all around our town completely disappeared. They zoomed away in one big swoosh and left a total mess. The problems we are having now are simply numberless. We try to write more numbers down with pencil, chalk and pen. But even when we think them up, they slip away again. So none of us can count amounts, add numbers or subtract. And nobody can multiply. That is just a fact. We have to find our numbers. They could be any place. The best detective in our town? is working on the case. Our piggy banks are full of coins to spend on something nice. But money has no value now and nothing has a price. We can't send mail or packages by truck or boat or air without the right address and stamp. They can't go anywhere. Should we wake up or go to bed? When should we come or go? Because our clocks can't tell the time, we have no way to know. Our calendars have empty squares, so who can tell the date? This might be April, May or June. We'll have to estimate. I hope my birthday is coming soon. When will my party be? I wish I knew how old I was. What an emergency! We checked these books out long ago. It's hard to say quite when. We'll keep them for a year or more. Then read them all again. Our dinner tastes peculiar, but it isn't daddy's fault. His cookbook has no quantities. He put in too much salt. The buttons on the phone are blank. I can't call anyone. The phone book is no help at all. This isn't any fun. Computers stay asleep all day. They will not operate. The calculators are upset. They cannot calculate. How tall am I? What do I weigh? And what's my temperature? Without a way to measure things, we just don't know for sure. Our hats and boots don't seem to fit and neither do our shoes. If we can't tell what size they are, it's very hard to choose. The workers who are building things are in a frightful fix. This brand new house is nothing but a crooked stack of sticks. Because this builder is saying, I can't build anything if I can't measure first. Can our detective solve this case? It's very hard to wait. Our numbers must be rescued soon. Before it's way too late. What's that thing on the hill? Swish. Let's go see. Hurry up. I've tracked you down, you number thief. Your number vacuum too. I want to ask you a question, please. What were you trying to do? To make the longest number that the world will ever see. I've been collecting numerals to reach infinity. Let's put this vacuum into reverse. Here come the numbers. Here's a one, there's a two, a three, 
and now a 4. But math will be impossible till we get several more. A 5's alright. A 6 and 7. 8 and 9. Hello! And last but not the least of all, we welcome back Zero! It's time for us to celebrate. We missed math every day. Our numbers are at home again. Math is here to stay. Hooray! Isn't it great to have the numbers back? Yes, but these library books are way overdue. Your punishment is to fix all the phone books. So you will need a lot of glue. And that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed the story. If you did, don't forget to click on like and also share with your friends. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so because soon I'll be back with another story. Until then, keep reading.